windmills had been around for 1,500 years. By the late 1800s, there were basically two kinds of windmills in general use. The first type was the Dutch windmill, using four large, broad, heavy drag blades. It was used to primarily grind grains, such as wheat. Variations of it were used throughout Europe. The second type was the American farm windmill. It used from 10 to 20 small drag blades. It was used to primarily pump water. In 1888, Charles Brush, an American, made the first practical wind turbine that generated electricity. He used the turbine to supply the electrical power for his large house. Brush's turbine was based on the American farm windmill design, but he made his a huge version. The wind turbine's rotor was nearly 60 feet in diameter, had 130 blades, and weighed 40 tons. At full power, it could generate 12 kilowatts. In 1891, Paul Lacour, a Danish person, discovered that it was more efficient for a wind turbine's rotor to generate electricity if it used only four thin, lightweight, streamlined blades that rotated fast. A Lacour turbine's rotor that was 60 feet in diameter with only four thin blades could generate the same amount of electricity as Brush's turbine with 130 blades. Later research would show it was more efficient to use only two thin lifting blades to generate electricity. There was a serious problem with a wind turbine that used long, thin blades. In the strong winds, the wooden blades vibrated back and forth so much that they would break after a relatively short period of time. In 1927, Georges Darius, a French person, thought he came up with a solution to the vibration problem of long, thin blades. He developed a vertical axis wind turbine in which he bent the long, thin blades over at both ends to make an egg beater shape. In this configuration, the vibration of the long, thin blades was eliminated or significantly reduced. Darius also invented a second vertical axis wind turbine design. This was called the gyro mill. This was another attempt at solving the blade vibration problem. Little was done with the vertical axis wind turbine designs until the 1980s and 1990s. At that time, various scientists and engineers in several nations extensively tested the vertical axis wind turbine designs. The result of the test was the unanimous conclusion that the vertical axis wind turbines are inferior in performance to the horizontal axis wind turbines. Modern horizontal axis wind turbine blades were made of materials able to survive the vibration problem. Professional wind energy experts have widely rejected vertical axis wind turbines. Today, there is not one wind farm in the entire world that uses vertical axis wind turbines. That is a strong condemnation of the vertical axis wind turbine design. Vertical axis wind turbines can be almost as efficient as horizontal axis wind turbines of the same size, but they can never be equal because the, v, the vertical axis wind turbine designs have too much dead weight and air resistance drag. In the gyro mill, the support arms are dead weight 
and also air resistance drag. The central column is also dead weight as it rotates with the blades. In the Darius egg beater wind turbine, this area and this area are dead weight. They also have air resistance drag. The central column is dead weight as it rotates with the blades. By comparison, the horizontal axis wind turbine is superior in design because it suffers from no such dead weight or worthless air resistance drag in its blades.